hi everyone welcome back to the channel again so today we are going to discuss about uh, one of the important topic which we actually used in a real world project uh, so for one of our customer we have uh, done this project it's, it's not a complete thing but uh, this is what actually the, when you come to the customization uh, you have to do you have to like uh, understand the modeling also like drafting uh, assemblies everything you have to understand uh, especially if you are a complete fresher you need to have some basic knowledge on, on the modeling drafting uh, from this nx model so it's like uh, you should understand the technologies whatever they use uh, in order to <coughs> in order to like like uh, to to, to understand to make you understandable so because basically you will be a person who who will be knowing like the the basic terminologies from the modeling as well as drafting because most probably like you will be interacting with the modelers uh, and and the upper level managers so they might have a good experience in um, in in these models like modeling and drafting because they have got their uh, uh, career started with the modeling and they might have a good experience in those models so they use terminologies so okay i think i'm just dragging more and more in this topic it's okay let's jump right into it so today we are going to to, to look at the topic which is uh, updating the expression uh, from this current model current uh, part file so you can say so which means uh, expressions are very important and so the thing is like uh, uh, there are you have to create an assembly you have create so for the assembly we need a lot of parts a lot of drawings so to make a complete assembly right so if you make a if you start making a part you can simply make a part like this so yeah, there is no sketch you you will not get these kind of paths in your uh, real world projects so you have to start with the sketching you have to start with uh, applying the expressions which means the parameters uh, for each and every dimension which which needs uh, the construction like you will have a uh, yeah, set of drawings for uh, as an input so let's give you uh, let me give you some example let's create a simple sketch okay I'm going to create a profile. Okay, let's zoom a little bit. You see the default uh, parameters are created like 81, 34, 26. Okay, let's complete this. I think all are good okay so now the sketch is done let's check with the extrude option if it is completely creating the profile or not. yeah it's creating okay we go to the details of the sketch here and if you click here it it will show the expression see if you have anything but at the moment we don't have anything so let us set one let us create one suppose like okay i want to have an expression here so i am going to say it's just a length okay i'll just finish the sketch see now it's showing the length is equal to 81 because I just modified and I it just uh, getting my inputs so that's why there is a expression created using the length and 81 now you can edit it from here like uh, 70 I think it's updated 80 yeah it's updating it's fine so what we are going to do now is like we are going to update this expression from the program from our NX okay we have our default setup ready it's a dotnet framework uh, DLL project so let's try to implement 
what we were discussing in the last session like we are going to implement the try catch method if there is any error we are going to catch it okay we are going to handle it okay catch exception exception i'm going with the default name made a mistake here okay we can just put it And one more thing, like uh, I have uh, Mr. This, um, this another one which is I mostly use to display the message, which is the UI class object. I will type you now. Okay. You can press control space to give the, the shortcut to create means the, the Visual Studio Intelligence with will pop up the names. Okay, you can use control space for that. That's kind of a speed up your speed up your um, programming uh, writing and all. Okay, and this one is the one UI which is our NX UI we, we, we can able to access kind of a message box so all those things the same way we are going to get like section on the UI get UI okay so we are ready with the initial setup so now we are going to use this uh, this particular uh, function to get the default uh, expressions if if your expression is already there in the model you will get it okay otherwise it will throw some error okay the input u of model x is a character string containing the name of the expression what is returned to the user in the entire expression stream what they are saying is uh, so if i just click they are telling it will give you everything some it's, it will not give the value or it will not give the name. It will give you as it is, like length equal to 80. The same way you will get. So let's go back. You can see here complete expression string output. This includes left, left hand side equal sign and right hand side, which is left hand side length and equal sign, right hand side 80. So we will be getting this value, okay? Okay, let's use the function. Okay, sorry, the U of session, right? Session dot model dot ask expression. Okay, it's asking the name, right? What is it? It's the name of the expression. Okay, what's our name? We should give the name. It's 80. Sorry, it's a length. out string I'm just uh, making it in the same line as so if you want you can define any variable here and you can use it like uh, after this out so that's that's quite easy so we are going to print the current value in the message box okay like I'm going to access the message box next message box dot show we give some title current value so message box dot alert type this uh, enumeration so this is not error so we are going to inform the value the current value right so we use the information uh, information uh, type okay so the length is going to be expression Sorry, the value this one we are getting right so it will be printed it will be displayed here okay let's check the current status okay what is the okay okay let's run it 
length equal to 80. As they mentioned, the current value is the title and the length is 80. The information icon here. So we are going to update it. Okay. So now we don't have to store it here. Now we know that the expression is coming in. The expression has some value. Okay. Anyway, we have to check it if the expression is uh, really have that value. Okay. If expression empty. Okay. It's not there. Equal. Nothing. Okay. This is like a, if he gets anything empty. So we are not going to do it. Or we can do something like this. Sorry. If it is not empty, so we know that the expression has some value and uh, it's actually available. So we are going to update it. We are going to use the same syntax. Okay, it's edit expression mode. It's not update. The function they used like this. So they are expecting the same way how they are uh, actually giving us the output here. So if you go and check this same function in this func uh, documentation edit expression. So here they are mentioning the input similar to you okay except for the fact that expression name must be already exist. Yeah, that's why it should already exist. The user needs to have this name of the expression and equal sign and a new value okay so the same way we have to pass okay double quote string equal let's give it's 80 right so now we will update it to 100 okay if it is done we are going to print the new value also on the We will say new no value. We are not going to get it. We will just say it's a success. Title. Hello. It's okay. Let's run it. Otherwise, we can do this one also. Like we have to put something expression here. If there is anything goes wrong, we have to type the message. Give the proper title also here. Okay, let's run it. Okay, now it's 80. Let's run our program. It's 100. So, but still it is not updated. So, let's go back to the documentation. See, after you use, after you use this routine, call your model update to update the database. It, it is updated. But it is not uh, reflected in the in the sketch and this model, right? So we are going to call this. What's this one? Dot model dot update. It's the void. We can no need to pass anything. So now we will give one twenty. Control. B. Yeah. Okay. See, now it's updated. Okay, guys. That's all. That's it, actually, from this tutorial. See you.